We do have an update I want to bring you right now. We've been following this whole Titanic, Titanic sub, the submersible that had gone down. That's just a horrible story. And we're all kind of holding our breaths and saying a prayer, of course, that these people are found. The good news is, and we like to be able to talk about the good news, is that they have located these banging noises underwater. And according to the latest report that's just coming in, they have been able to now focus on a particular area where they are detecting these banging noises. The clock is ticking. The oxygen is running out. This was a tourist sub that went down to try and see that wreckage, which is 12,000 feet underwater, just the very, very bottom of the ocean, and very difficult to have any kind of manned um, manned vehicle down there. In fact, you can only use robots. And so what has happened in this particular case, and you're probably quite aware of it, is that it lost contact with the mothership. Once you get down there, it can be really dangerous. Things can get flattened very quickly. Um, and there's not really, if you don't have the right kind of machine to be down there, and we just don't, we don't have the technology in terms of the rescue ships, then it can be really, really tough. So the good news is they've heard this banging. I, I can't even imagine what these these people are going through. Um, they had about 96 hours total in oxygen supply. So obviously time is running out and we're, we're hopeful. We're hopeful that, that they're able to to make it. It's just a very, very sad, sad situation. Um, 